Welcome everybody to our service today on the 31st of January 2021. Yep, we've made it through the first month. It's great to have you with us, whether you're a visitor or whether you're a regular or if you've just stumbled across us on the internet, you're more than welcome. Please do stay, have a listen to some of the songs and uh, we've got Martin preaching today. We're looking at the letter of Paul to the Galatians answering the question, what is the gospel, the good news of Jesus, what it means to us. So we're looking forward to that. So you are most welcome. And just a few things from me. Um, first one, Wednesday night at eight o'clock, we have a life group on Zoom. Um, if you want to join that, it was great to see some new faces this time. Um, if you want to join it, let us know. We can get you on and we can give you the information so you can join. And if you can't stay for the entire time because it is two hours, that's fine. Just come for the part you want to come for and then go when you need to go. It'll be great to see you um, because we need each other at times like this. And I've got two extra notices this week. On Thursday night, the SVC leaders had a leaders meeting and it was decided that we should announce two things and we've got a lot of ideas uh, which we'll let you know uh, over the coming weeks and months um, how to move things forward. But we've got two things specifically we want to mention now. As you all know, SVC, the Sports Village Church, runs a CAP centre. CAP stands for Christians Against Poverty. And we have been involved uh, with CAP as part of our mission since 2012. We used to have a debt centre and we have a life skills um, coach, Ali Murden, our sister, who worked really hard and is a great example to us all. And last year, we decided that the cap work should go back under Christchurch Pennington's Parish Church Council, of which I'm a member and of which Eric is a member. We did that because several people, as you may remember, decided that it was time to step down from their duties uh, lockdown's given many of us um, a new perspective on things and, you know, time time doesn't stop for anyone, does it? So we decided, as a leadership team, and the PCC have agreed, that CAP will stay SVC's mission and CAP um, will still be what SVC does, but we didn't have the personnel to run it solely at SVC, so we went back under the PCC. Um, that was how it was originally. We had to set up a group for various reasons, but we agreed that the time was right to go back under the PCC. SVC will still have an input into it, and but now we have support and help from our friends who are passionate about CAP at CCP. If you feel you want to get involved and support our work, get in touch with us. If you want to know more about it, let us know. You, you've never heard of CAP before, but a ministry to the poor through SVC sounds like something you want to get involved in. Then just ask. Send us a message. We'll direct you to the right people. And these things don't run on fresh air. If you feel that you want to give money, again, contact us. We'll direct you to the right people. And if you have given in the past, I sent a letter out over, well, after Christmas, informing people of the change. Please keep giving if you can, uh, because this is a vital and special part of SVC's ministry and the work of CAP will be needed more than ever throughout the 2020s because 
the economic challenges we're going to face um, in a post-COVID world and the continuing decline of Christian influence in Britain. Um, that's going to continue throughout the 2020s unless there's a revival. But that's the trend at the moment. So please do consider uh, that, what I've said. If you want more information, contact me. Um, we'll get in touch and I'll either answer your questions myself or direct you to the people who can answer the question. I just want to say uh, thank you to everyone who does do work with CAP at the moment and has done in the past. We value you, we love you, we think you're amazing. The second little notice I wanted to give is um, we had a talk about data, people helping people access the internet so they can listen to the talks, um, listen to the songs and get involved with Life Group if they wanted to. We've we had a chat about that because some people are struggling with that. If that's you, please let one of us know. We'll try and help you sort out a package, um, a good internet package. We'll point you in the right direction and we'll see if we can help because we don't want anyone at SPC to be cut off um, because as we know, being realistic, this COVID situation is going to last for a while. We're not, you know, we're not going to be out of this in a week or two. Uh, we thought we would be last year. We hoped, we, we probably hoped more than thought. Um, we thought it would all be right by the summer, then the autumn, then the winter. Um, but we know that... Yeah, this is going to be a long call and we want to help. So if you need help with regards to that, please contact us. Um, send a text. Um, you know, I know we're talking about you can't access data, but if, you know, you've not got data for a month, you know, when you've got it, send a message. We'll get to you as soon as we can. Um, we... Just say this because we miss you. Um, we don't want anyone to think we're not thinking about them. We are. We're deeply concerned for you all. And yeah, so please don't suffer on your own. Let one of us know. Um, again, I might not be able to answer your question, but I can ask people that will. So please take care and please get in touch. That's the notices, life group, cap and data. Um, other than that, it's a great pleasure to have you with us. And I shall just read a little psalm. Oh, um, and I hadn't picked a psalm, but it opened on Psalm 103, which is one of my favourites. So I'll read, I'll read the first 14 verses of it. So let's hear God's word. Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord works righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the people of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. He will not always chide, nor will he keep his anger forever. He does not deal with us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his steadfast love toward those who fear him. So far as the east is from the west, so far does he remove our transgressions from us. 
as a father shows compassion to his children, so the Lord shows compassion to those who fear him. For he knows our frame. He remembers that we are dust. That's God's word. Just a little word about that word fear. In this, in the Bible, when we talk about the fear of God, it means it's an old way of saying reverence. It meant a bit more than reverence. It meant like, like we sing in the song, who leaves us breathless in awe and wonder. And having that attitude of heart, that reverence, that awe for God that we see because of his benefits to us, because of his grace, because of his mercy, it makes us stand in awe of him and love him and honour him, and obey him. So that's what it means to fear God. Um, There's a new book out about it, Michael Reeves. Can't remember the title just off the top of my head, but uh, Mike Reeves is a great speaker. Uh, We love him at SVC. Um, And it's a good attitude in the Bible. It means reverence. Not quite what we mean today when we say fear, um, but it's an old English way of saying it. So, Don't be put off by that phrase, fearing God. Let's just pray now. You've heard enough of me. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are gracious and you are merciful, that you are slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love, that you forgive, that you heal, that you redeem, that you rescue and that you cram. The Lord bless us now as we worship you. May we have hearts that fear you and love you. And may we have eyes to see your grace and glory. Minds to understand it. May we obey you and live to your glory. In Jesus' name. Amen.